Hello everyone. Um, today we're gonna uh, go over a simple Xcode tutorial to help you learn the basics of <clears throat> using the Coco frameworks and Objective C to make Mac OS X applications. So the first thing we're gonna do is go on the dock down to Xcode, open it up. It's open. We're gonna go to File, I'm sorry, um, new new project. Cocoa application under the applications drop down. Next, uh, I'll title it Beep, Beeping Application. Finish. And we have created a project, as you can see. This is just a list of the resources Xcode will use when building the project. For example, AppKit framework uh, includes classes for the UI elements. For example, right here you see a drop down that's part of the AppKit framework, NS window. And then uh, foundation is other things like strings, arrays, stuff like that. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up main men menu.nib. A nib file is basically a file that creates uh, an interface for you so you don't have to type up the code for everything. It will create the code that's needed. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to under the main menu window item go down to classes and this object click hit enter and title it app controller. We just subclass NS object and made our own class called app controller. We're going to use this to control the application. So then um, under the inspector window, if you don't already have that open, you can go up to tools, sh show inspector. We have actions and outlets. We're going to be concerned with actions right now. So you're going to click on add. We're going to title it send beep. You could, oh, sorry. sorry. Darn it. Send beep. Um, and we're going to use that action to make a beep noise. So whenever this action is now more method is part of the app controller class. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the uh, UI elements window. We're going to click on uh, buttons, the button and slider t uh, tab, and you're just going to drag a, a button to your window here. This is a window that will be created for you automatically. Gonna make it, you know, whatever any size you really want. Gonna just title it "Make Beep Noise" because that's what's gonna be doing. And what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go back to the Classes tab under your main menu window, right-click on App Controller, Instantiate, and that will make an instance of the App Controller class and the instances as you can see here. So now this is a running instance of the custom class, the subclass that we made. It will act as if it's running and will receive commands. What you're going to do is you're going to click on the button. Let's drag this down a little bit and make it a little more clear. Click on the button, hold your control key, and drag from the button to the App Controller instance. Let go of the, the I'm sorry, of your mouse first. And go over to the inspector window. You see, it's we're going to connect it to the send beep action or method connect. And now, what what will happen is, whenever this is clicked, the code implemented under this method will be executed. So now we action we haven't actually added the app controller class uh, files to define the class to our Xcode project. So we're going to go back to classes. We're going to right click on app control. I'm sorry, app controller. So, um, create files for app controller. So now we're going to add the files defining the class to the Xcode project that we created. Oh, okay. Now we're going to click choose. It's going to create the files, and you can see here in our beep application window, we have app controller.h, app controller.m, h files uh, outline, the, the list of variables for the class, and the outline, the methods, and then as you can see here, and then .m actually all does is you put the code for each method, you define the code. So we're not, we don't have any variables, so that's where the variables would go, for example, in x, but we don't, not dealing with that. See, we have the action, 
IB action. IB means void, the name of the action, and the parameter, which is the sender, the, the object that sends or calls a method. So you're going to go to aperture.m, and all you're going to do is, in these brackets, you're going to type nsb. So now we've defined this method, so whenever this button is clicked, this will be executed. So let's give it a shot. We'll click on this button, which will build and run the application. Uh, I'm sorry, just in case, it, if you don't already have that, I have it so that it automatically saves the nib file. If you don't, go click back on this right here. Go to File, Save, just to make sure. And then we're going to go back to this and click on this, build it. It's creating it. Okay, here's our window that is running. I'm going to make the volume a little louder so you can hear it. It makes a beep noise, just as we want. So that's the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed.